We're nearly here, must be excited to, to get that game going and get the playoffs underway. Yeah, it's a, it's a long it's a long break in between the games. Um, I think the lads would have rather with it uh, a lot sooner, but it is what it is and it's just give us a, a good 10 days to regroup and, and get ready for the next game. And do you feel that's that's good to just have that refocus come the end of the season and, and go and start again for another period of a block of you know, a couple of weeks? Yeah, it can be. Um, it, it, like I said, we, we've had a few injuries and, uh, and everything else this season, so it's a it's a perfect opportunity for us now to, to regroup and, and get everyone fit and ready to, to go. So yeah, we're looking forward to it, very excited and uh, hopefully we can go and enjoy the game. Playoff-wise, you had any experience in the playoffs in your career? Yeah, I've had uh, one before with Brian. Um, it's a great experience, I've said to the lads and uh, they've asked about how it is and uh, I just said it's, it's just a case of sticking to the task and, and, and go and enjoy the moment. Do you feel when you walk out onto the pitch show, do you feel like it is a different kind of game rather than a regular league game? Do you have that tension a little bit like you would if it was a big cup match? It, some players probably have, yeah. It, for me, every game's the same. Um, but it, it doesn't mean any more or any less to me. Um, every game's uh, a very important game to me, um, regardless of it being a cup game, league game or promotion game. Um, I, I approach every game the same and I've done that my whole career and that's why I've had such uh, uh, a good career. And how important is it that you do treat this as any other game and that you don't get too ahead of yourself and look at what could be Wembley promotion, that you just take it game by game? Yeah, and I, I think that's what we've done all season. Um, we, we don't look ahead, we just look at the task in hand and um, we, like I said, we've got game plan and we work um, day in, day out to, to do the right thing. So we don't get ahead of ourselves, never. Um, so it's just a case of going and enjoying the moment and not letting the, the, the emotions get the better of you. Now, obviously, there's going to be crowds at, at both games. You've played at the stadium a lot and you'll yeah. know what it's like when it's full. But do you think not having as many fans in will probably affect them more and it'll feel emptier there than it would here with 3,000 in on Wednesday night? Yeah, it's probably, it's, just, it's not going to feel as empty, like you said, with you know, their capacity being a lot bigger. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just looking forward to getting some sort of fan base back in. I think the fans have been absolutely dying to get back in. So it's going to be nice for the for the club, for, for both clubs to, to have a bit of a fan base back in. And like I said, with the lads, we're just looking forward to it and, and uh, can't, can't wait to get going. And how important is it that you harness those 3,100? So? Yeah, it's going to be a new experience for a few of the lads because I think the majority of the team this season haven't witnessed a crowd here yet. So it's going to be a new, new experience for them. So hopefully they use that in the right way to, to push them on to, to go and do well. Sunderland results against them mixed this season, it is fair to say. Do you just try and put that to your back of your mind and think what's done is done in the 46 games now, we're, we're in a, a, a two or three game season? Yeah, we, we're ahead of where we should have been. So we know we've, we've gone above and beyond in terms of uh, our goals or achievement for this year. So we, we've, we've done that. So it, now it's a case of right, let's get together, let's regroup and look to, to, the, to the next two games and and, and take it, like I said, game by game and, 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 and go and do the job. Does time feel like it's going slow at the moment? A little bit, yeah. I, I would have liked a, a shorter break in between the games, but like I said, it's probably worked in our favour in terms of getting um, minutes into the lads and uh, getting a lot of them back out into the, to the training pitch. And is, is there a real determined focus still from those players that, that there has been all through the season? Do you, or do you feel there's been an added impetus in training? No, it, every day's been the same. Um, we haven't changed, I think, throughout the season. That's why we've done as well as we have. Because every day uh, we go into train, everyone's 100% uh, willing to work, willing to run uh, and willing to learn. So that's a massive key for our success this season.